This is Elon Musk's house, and this is me posting my resume through his door to see if I can get my dream job as an astronaut. Now this might sound like an impossible mission, but I've got something Elon wants. For the last two years, I've been buying up all the land on Mars, 20 acres at a time, making me the biggest landowner on the planet. If Elon wants to land his rockets, he's going to have to employ me first. So here's my idea. I'm going to pitch Elon a simple trade, half of my land for employing me as an astronaut. So join me on my most dangerous mission yet. Maybe the shot. That would be like the worst thing. It'd be very hurtful for you. <laughs> it would hurt. Security is following us, which means the whole plan is currently in jeopardy. So you joined me after I've flown all the way to Texas to reach a small city called Brownsville and I was just about to turn up to the SpaceX headquarters uninvited in my first attempt to meet Elon. The only problem was, rocket factories are considered military restricted areas. We just passed the police checkpoint and there's some road closures that we're fast approaching. That is crazy. Oh god, it's so big and scary. The road was closed because of rocket testing. Just as I arrived, this happened. They just opened it. Should we go down it? We're going where no man has ever been before. Right through the signs which is just closed. It's mad how you can just go so close to it. I suppose like, what could you do, you know? Oh, what could I do? Have you ever played GTA before? That is a rocket. <laughs> that is absolutely nuts. Nah, no, that's workers. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> There's a fucking rocket in there! Man, this is fucking nuts. How's it going, you alright? Good. Are you guys local? We work here. Oh, I this. work in the tower. Oh, do you? Up there? Yeah. But we're not really allowed. Oh, you're not allowed to talk it. Have you ever seen Elon? Yeah, he comes here. He just randomly shows up. I think we got lucky because normally they close down the street and we won't be allowed over here. Oh, really? Yes. Look. To take After chatting to that SpaceX employee, he said there was one spot where we could get even closer yeah. to the rockets. This feels so crazy that you can do this. We're just driving up to the fucking rocket. Is that someone's house? You could literally just drive in there. There's a camper site there, and then you just turn around and face these things. We're definitely being watched. There's this overwhelming sense that there's people in the shadows, there's people in the palm trees. Little did I know at the time, but Elon was literally here two days before me in this exact spot. I was definitely getting closer. I could almost sense the presence of someone smart enough to write code for a rocket. We write software. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Amazing. Have you guys ever met Elon? Yes. Did it live up to the hype? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder whether you guys know anyone that might be useful within SpaceX to sort of talk to next. Uh... I'm not sure. Not sure? Yeah, I'm not sure who, like, who would be willing to talk, so, yeah. I think that's a great place to leave it there. And hopefully tomorrow, more things will be unleashed. As day one ended, it was clear I wouldn't get introduced to Elon through an employee. But of course I knew that. That's why I came prepared with a completely separate plan that was guaranteed to get me to Elon by using a scientific theory called the six degrees of separation. Let me explain. This is the theory that everyone on Earth is connected by six people or less. I've done this before and somehow got acting royalty Judy Dench on a Zoom call. And that brings me to why I'm in this small Texan city called Brownsville. We know Elon lives here. He's spotted out in public doing side quests all the time. So I was confident that if I could meet the right people, I could reach Elon within six connections and earlier that day i had already been making inroads with the locals let me bring you up to speed so i get into town and head to an elon shrine for clues do you know anything about elon musk oh no 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 that wasn't very useful can i have a job as an astronaut then a paramedic turned up and said this so i'm giving you my uncle's number he works as a medic there his uncle couldn't help but he gave me a number of this man hey Carell. good to meet you Carell runs unofficial tours of the spacex site he told me this i bet you can do this i mean he's he's here right and this if you were like breaking codes of conduct maybe you get shot this. that would be like the worst thing I also got pooed on by a duck oh no oh no, no. I'll get you another shirt if you want. You can borrow it. Thank you. So now you're all caught up. That's how I ended up at SpaceX with the borrowed blue t-shirt and I was already halfway to Elon in just one day. And as day two began, it was my mission to make as much noise in the town as possible. Have you seen this man? Oh yes, that's a good man right there. Have you seen him? Oh my God. <laughs> Wait a minute. Have you seen this man? No. Have you seen this man? Ah, uh, got ya. Where's your friend gone? 
where the Cameron Hotel was. Yeah. <clears throat> he took so much in the tell that rascal. I said, well, just tell that rascal to turn over here to the left turn and make a right sign on the first street. Yeah. Hey, I want to go to outer space too. Let's go. Have you seen this guy yet? I don't know that goddamn Mexican man. <laughs> <laughs> With the posters up, I went to grab some coffee, and it turns out every person in this town has an Elon story. Trying to track down Elon Musk. Oh, um, he's around. He just had a drop of food blow up all over him and his kid on the laundry. Yeah. Really? So they fired someone I knew. I met Elon. I can't and of course that's He was me. eating a Speedo Papa. No it's way. like a potato <laughs> thing, like a Mexican thing. This is great intel. I can't believe the girl who worked at the cafe took that viral photo. And while I was in that cafe, the flyers were working their magic. Hola. Can you translate for us? Elon? Elon Musk. This video is sponsored by noses. I mean, this video is sponsored by ERA. What if I told you your nose can taste? That's incredible. I've not tasted in 20 years. Bingo. What's ERA? ERA is a sneaky little bottle that tricks your brain into thinking you're drinking a flavored drink when really you're drinking the sweetest nectar of them all. I'm confused. How does it work? Please tell me. Sure, I could tell you, old man, or I could let the all new premium steel bottle, the first of its kind to have a scent based taste innovation, tell you. And he's here today. By sucking the water through the straw, the water and air goes through the scented pods and into your mouth. That's when you start smelling through the back of your nose. So essentially, smelling in your mouth. What does it taste like, Mr. Bottle? Well, it's not squash. So if you're expecting an overwhelming and sugary taste, then save that for the set. This is hydration. So try her up today in a range of flavors and start drinking more of the good stuff. Water. 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 Disclaimer. Air bottles not come completely as attached. Similarly, your nose does not have a mouth. Buying air up will not give you the love and adoration from Zach also. Yeah, he's saying he looked Musk as his son. I think it's his son. The locals were definitely in a silly, goofy mood. But luckily for me, my third connection, Carell, had secured me a spot on his friend's podcast to help spread the word. How's it going? Good, Edgar, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. But little did I know, this man was another link in the chain. Welcome to SpaceX, people. Today, we have a crazy show. The British are here. So, why are you here? I'm a man on a mission to try and track down Elon Musk, and I've got one question for the man. So before you came, yeah. did you investigate how hard that is to do? <laughs> no. There's a very tight security all around the installation, so you can't, like, yeah. break in. No, no. It would be really bad. Um, for, for, for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would hurt. <laughs> I knew Elon would be hard to reach from a security perspective. I wanted to stay on track and figure out if Edgar was able to get me closer to the map. Have you heard of six degrees of separation? So yeah, yeah, that's what I'm telling you that's happened to me. Yeah. So right now, I'm doing production for one of his brother's foundations. With your one connection of <laughs> Yes, and I've already <laughs> met his brother. This, ladies and gentlemen, was the point where I now had a full route directly to the man himself. Things were looking good. Almost too good. Can we cut Mike? Cut it off. Yeah, yeah. turn it off. Yeah. Right, Edgar's just made us turn the cameras off. But um, basically, he's just told us he's not willing to risk his own relationship with Elon's brother. Which is fair enough. But the chain that we worked so hard for is now just broken. I'm not sure if Corral's gonna be able to help us anymore, but he's just said he's got something to show us. We haven't really got much to lose, so we're gonna go with him now. But this is a low moment. This is a low. We're following Corral into the belly of the beast, and ultimately, I'm slightly worried. Where the fuck is he going? I can't see! Oh God, what the fuck? Is this where we get murdered now? Because this is where you'd bring someone if you wanted to end them. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So this is the Raptor Roost, a location that I cooperate with a friend of mine. Hello, hello. Hello. How's it going? Have you ever seen Elon? I have spotted his car one time, I think. It's a blue Tesla. We're trying to find him. I, right, I do it often. <laughs> the ranch is Corral's base camp for the tours he runs, and you could tell it meant a lot to him. Safe to say I shared that enthusiasm. It's cool. What it's very cool. Like? It was weird how close you could get to them. Yeah, it's so yeah. bizarre. Why are they okay with that? I mean, it's a public road. The short answer is they're not okay with it. That's why it's changing from a 
public road to a private road. What Corell is talking about is this road that runs right into SpaceX is public access and it's all thanks to the beach at the end which has belonged to the locals the whole time. Well that's what makes it so remarkable that this is happening. When you're here you have the sense that world changing events are happening and you're like plugging in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I think this place rewards people like you all basically. Yeah. Like come check it out. It's not going to be like this forever. And that's why everyone you talk to is like, please don't mess this up for us. You might be the kid in class that gets the field trip taken away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be that kid. You don't want to be that kid. This point in the mission was a real low. Did I really want to be the kid that got the field trip taken away? Where are you off to, Zach? I'm going to school now. Just as things were looking like it was over, Carell threw me a final lifeline and mentioned he could link us up with a local politician who has contacts in the Musk Foundation. But before that, we wanted to enjoy our final night in Brownsville by going to the most Texan bar you've ever seen. And little did I know, Carell had one final surprise for me waiting. Oh, you Our good friend Zach, can you come up on stage, please? Oh, here you got a question for our fans here. Lonesome and lonely. Oh, no. I didn't know this was happening. Howdy, ladies and gents. If anybody here knows Elon Musk, I'll buy you a beer for any information you can give me. Yeah. I love Texas. Yeah! Give yeah. me a big applause for the UK. <laughs> I think I saw him earlier. <laughs> In the parking lot. <laughs> Surprisingly, no one had anything useful to say. This was my last day in Brownsville, with the only lead left being Carell's politician friend, it was time to go and find him. But there was just one problem. All Carell gave me was a surname, Castro. Melissa Castro. Jamie Castro. Alicia Castro. <laughs> Linda Castro at the end. What is going on? This is our guy. Erasmo, how did you get in? Why is there a church? Hello? Hey. Erasmo! Hola, good to meet you, man. Yeah, likewise. Are these all your ties? Yes. Really? <laughs> it's my collection. You're joking? Well, they're mine. <laughs> Why are we here? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> to try and track down Mr. Elon Musk. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> did the car just fall <laughs> off the table? <laughs> so, I want to hand him my resume and trade him something for a job as an astronaut. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. However, he's quite hard to track down. A little bit, yeah. Erasmo told me about a retirement community whose peaceful life has been destructed by SpaceX, where most of the locals have been bought out of their dream homes by Elon. A big old chunk of the people from uh, the uh, uh, Boca Chica community are pretty much very upset. Are there anyone, anybody that still lives there who was originally there? Uh, I don't know anyone that is still there that, that didn't want because so <laughs> the, the, the cat's trying to lick himself. Yeah. I was struggling to concentrate thanks to that small distraction, but you mentioned there was one final elderly couple still living in Boca Chica Village. The Crawfords. Yes. I approve this message. Is it weird that I just wanted to be the cat? I love Erasmo. He was talking about the Crawfords. Now I've Googled their name and it says they see Elon once a week. And this is a house in Boca Chica. Oh, and that shows us Elon's house. Okay, interesting. They posted a photo of Elon's house. I don't know how or if they're allowed to do that. They must be, but it's number It's on Weem Street. So we've already been all the way up this road and their houses are there. So if they live there, that means Elon lives somewhere down this street. And guess what I see? Blue Tesla. All these little links and snippets of information are coming together. I think the next step is go to the Crawfords. Yeehaw, ladies and gentlemen. Is this offensive? We have no idea whether this road is actually private property or not. Our research suggests it isn't, but Edgar has told us that it is. Where he lives is probably a private road. Right. Which means if you go in there, it'll probably hurt a lot for you. It'll be very hurtful. This is all the intel we've got. This is Mr. Crawford. And that's Mrs. Crawford. Oh God, I hope they like me. This is sort of the time we've been waiting for. We're pulling on to Elon Musk's road. Just trying to look for private property signs. Does this sign mean that whole road is private property? These signs are so casual, but they just have such big implications. Maybe you get shot. It'd be very hurtful. <laughs> We're trying the other side. But this is what we've blown halfway across the world for. <laughs> Holy shit. This is the fucking road for Elon Musk lives. So all these houses have been bought out, apart from the one of Remainers. Oh God, I'm scared. It's such a small road. That's the Crawford house. It's boarded up. 
Bruh. I literally come on fucking beneath it. That is the fucking COVID house. They've got fucking boarded up windows. Maybe they have been kicked out, but the plants look okay. If the plants are anything to go by. I can't believe that. The Crawfords, they were the strong ones holding out. They had been offered five times their house value. And now it seems like they may have taken that offer. With what felt like my final chance slipping away, I left the area quickly with the hope that security didn't notice me snooping around Elon's road. But unfortunately for me, it was already too late. The sheriff has just turned around behind us and now he's caught up to us. We're getting pulled, don't we? Maybe don't be too fucking suspicious of that film it's got. Oh shit, he's put the lights on. I don't want to. I don't want to piss him off. Here we go. Let's go. Hello, gentlemen. Texas Highway Patrol. Hi, yeah. Reason for your stop is your speed, my good man. Clock doing 82 miles an hour. It's 55. Go ahead. Any particular reason for the speed, my man? Not really. No, I'm just. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm a little deaf from all was, the, was, all the gunfire. Oh, it's all good. So okay. look, it will be a warning. A warning is not a ticket, not a citation. It's just letting you know, hey, slow down. Okay, perfect. All right. Thank you. Oh my god, that was lucky. Well, remember at the start of the video where I said I posted my resume through Elon Musk's door to try and trade my land on Mars? Well, this is how that part of the story came to be. You see, after spending three days in and around Brownsville trying to complete the six degrees of separation, my time here had run out and I was desperate. The only way I could complete my mission is if I reached him directly. So I stood outside SpaceX in an astronaut costume. Howdy. Begging him to come out. Obviously that didn't work. There's a blue Tesla. Oh. And that's when I was struck by a moment of genius. I know it's a federal crime in the USA to open somebody else's mail. So technically, if I posted my resume through Elon's door, none of his staff could touch it, meaning Elon would have to open it. So that was the new plan. Post my resume through his door, run away, don't get shot, and wait for the job call up. There was just one final problem. Me being an idiot outside of SpaceX had generated interest by security. Oh no, the security's back, is he? Elon, get naked. Elon, get naked. Now I was being told by them wherever I went. Making his presence very clear. That's definitely the same security man. Right, so we're being tailed by security. It's the same guy in the white truck who was following us from the front sign to this area and now he's just following us down the road. Which means the whole mission is now in jeopardy. If we just leave, he is literally tailing us. That is so funny. Oh God, he's gonna pull in right behind us again, isn't he? It's like he's just running us out of the area. He just knows that Elon's house is over there and he doesn't want us near it. The security's gone. I feel like this may be our chance to go to Elon's house. So I think it's time to change out this outfit to look a little bit less suspicious. Okay, whatever happens from here on out happens, hey? Let's go, everyone. This is Elon Musk's house. Alrighty. We're turning into Elon's road right now. Uh, Jesus. Is anyone else's heart going right now? I just feel like we're being watched from every angle. Holy fuck, that's fucking Elon Musk's house. There's like a rocket shaped thing in his back garden. That is a million percent of his house. The back gate's open. You can see into his back garden. Holy shit, that's Elon Musk's front door. There's so many cameras. I'm gonna do it right now. This is a potential could get shot moment. Holy shit, that is Elon Musk's house. Excuse me, sir. Hi. Are you local? Do you know the area? Yeah, what's going on? Um, is this the man's house? The main man? Yeah, <laughs> Alright, buddy, take care. Right, I'm just going to do it. CV to Elon Musk. Let's go. And it just so happens that the timing was perfect. Excuse me. Hi. Do you mind if you take that? Is that okay? Okay. It's for, it's for the man. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Cheers. Ugh. Ugh. Shit, the look on her face was horrified. Oh God, that is so scary. It's so hard to just comprehend what I've done. I mean, there's no one following us yet. Why did I have to say that? Because just after the moment we turned out the corner of Elon's road, there was a familiar sight waiting for us. He's gonna turn around. <laughs> that is so funny. We could just stop and say we saw you following us. Yeah? Let's cut the awkward tension with a knife. 
I'm gonna speak to the guy. Oh, he's on his laptop. Excuse me, sir. We're visiting from the UK. We're shooting like a little vlog just around SpaceX and stuff. Have you been following us by any chance? Uh, I don't know, Zach. <laughs> you know my name? Yeah, so uh, you have a good day, okay? And you, take care. He knew my name. <laughs> he knew my name. That was a power move. That was a fucking power move if I've ever seen one. Right, I think it's perhaps time to leave SpaceX for good. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. I may not have seen Elon live in the flesh, but after only three days in a city where I knew absolutely no one, I managed to prove we really are connected to anyone in the world by just six people. And Elon, I know you want some of my land. Give me a shout. Space is calling my name. Elon, we're looking for you. We're looking for you. I want to go out of space too. Motherfucker. <laughs>